Blogs. Hello, this is the second cover blog. Uh, just got back from Seattle the other day, and uh, while we were in Seattle, got to see some pretty cool things. We went to the Sci Fi Museum in Seattle, which is located uh, right by the Space Needle. Actually, there's a, a big park there that was, at one point, the World's Fair was held there. And of course, didn't do any research, so I don't remember what the date was. But there's like a little uh, amusement park with some small carny rides, uh, permanent rides. There's like a little wild mouse roller coaster, those kind of things. Uh, lots of little shops. But being kind of cold and yucky, it, there wasn't a whole lot of business there. Didn't go up the Space Needle. Figured uh, I've been in other things. I've been in the Eiffel Tower. So Space Needle, eh, not that exciting. It looked about the same as the needle thing that you go to in uh, Cedar Point, except the, the needle itself, the Space Needle, doesn't the, the little thing at the top, it, it doesn't go anywhere. You just take an elevator up. There's a restaurant up there. Restaurant's closed for right now, so there's nothing really to do except to go up there and look over Seattle. So didn't really think that was all that exciting. <coughs> I'm not certain exactly what Seattle did to actually get a sci-fi museum. Uh, it was kind of cool. Uh, a couple things not cool is they said no cameras allowed inside. So I was kind of actually pretty good about that and didn't take my camera in. Uh, actually, I took my camera in, but I didn't take any actual shots. There wasn't a whole lot to see in there, though. I mean, there was some cool stuff, don't get me wrong, but there just wasn't enough to warrant, like, the $12.5 entry fee. Uh, there was a cool model of the Jupiter II from Lost in Space, which was, like, this giant... I mean, the saucer was big. It was really cool. Would love to take that home. One thing the Sci-Fi Museum had that was really neat was a life-size alien queen, which was really cool. That was back behind glass, of course, couldn't touch it, but it'd be so much neater if I could actually illustrate this with pictures. Uh, don't have any pictures. Right next to the Sci-Fi Museum is the uh, Seattle Music Experience, something like that, named after Jimi Hendrix Experience, because Jimi, Jimi Hendrix from Seattle. Uh, didn't go there, but, you know, the, it's connected to the Sci-Fi Museum. And kind of looked around the gift shop, and it all just pretty much seems to be a lot of classic rock stuff, which I've kind of gotten my fill of here in Detroit. So Also, we went to the aquarium. Again, it was kind of cool, but I don't know. It was still only $12.5, but it wasn't, it wasn't like the best aquarium ever. Um, it had some big otters that were kind of cool see them swimming around it had a neat little uh, like sea dome thing where you walked down in underneath and the fish would swim all around you in this kind of geodesic dome type thing reminiscent of the big thing that they have at Epcot but not anywhere near as big and not quite as cool uh, but by far the neatest thing at the aquarium was the octopus that they had swimming around that was kind of cool uh, Seattle had a lot of good restaurants. We were able to find lots of cool places to eat while we were there. Didn't realize Seattle was quite so hilly. Never been to Seattle uh, before, but it reminded me of San Francisco with some of the hills there. Not quite as hilly as San Francisco, but hilly nonetheless. A lot more hilly than I expected. I mean, there were some streets that as you're walking down the street, you're pretty much leaning backwards trying to stay upright. So it's a very hilly city. I think that's probably about it. Bye.